Hello friends, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will learn how we can delete a key from a B tree. To delete a key from a B tree, we will start from root node and move down in B tree searching for a node containing the key to be deleted. We will move to node if it contains at least T keys, where T is the minimum degree of B tree. Suppose we have reached the node X of B tree and this node X does not contain the key to be deleted. Right? And uh, this node X is an internal node. Now from node X, suppose we have to move to node Y because node Y is the root of subtree which contains the key to be deleted. But node Y has only T minus 1 keys. So we cannot move to it. Now we have to solve this issue, right? Now here there are two cases. First, now the first case is when any immediate sibling of node Y, that is either right or left, has at least T keys. Suppose immediate right sibling of node Y has at least T keys. Suppose immediate right sibling of node Y is node Z. So node Z has at least P keys. Then the key M of node X which has node Y at its left and node Z at its right will be replaced by leftmost key of node Z. Right? The leftmost key of node Z here is Z1. So key Z1 of node Z will take the position of key M of node X, right? And key M will become the rightmost key of node Y, right? Now the child of node Z, which was at the left of key Z1, will become child of node Y at the right of key M, right? So what will happen? The key M of node X will be replaced by the key Z1, that is by the leftmost key of node Z, right? Key M of node X is replaced by key Z1 of node Z, right? It is replaced by leftmost key of node Z. And key M of node X has become rightmost key of node Y, right? Now the child of node Z, which was at the left of key Z1, will become the child of node Y at the right of key M, right? Now node Y has T keys. Now we can move to it, right? Similarly, if immediate left sibling of node Y has at least T keys, right? Then we can solve the issue by moving a key from node X to node Y. And moving a key from immediate left sibling of node Y to node X, right? And moving an appropriate child from immediate left sibling of node Y to node Y, right? Now the second case is when both the siblings of node Y have T minus 1 keys, right? Second case is when both the siblings of node Y have T minus 1 keys, right? In this case, what will we do? We will merge node Y with any one of its sibling, right? Now node Y will have more than T minus 1 keys, right? Now it will have 2T minus 1 number of keys. So since now node Y have more than T minus 1 keys, now we can move to it, right? Now when we reach the node X containing the key K to be deleted, then there are two cases. First case is when node X is a leaf node. Right. So 
when the node acts is a leaf node right and it contains the key k right and we have to delete this uh, key k then we will simply remove the key k from this uh, node x to delete it right we will simply remove the key k from node x right to delete it right now the second case is if uh, the key k to be deleted is in an internal node x right second case is if the node x is an internal node right then there will be three cases right first case is when the child of node x that precedes key k has at least t keys right in this case we will recursively delete rightmost key l of child that precedes key k right and we will replace key k by key l right now similar second case is similar to first case right if child of node x that follows key k has at least t keys then we will recursively delete leftmost key r of that child and replace key k by key r right now the third case is when both child nodes of node x which precedes and follows key k have only t minus 1 keys right in this case we will merge both of these child nodes into a single node right now we will recursively delete key k from this node which is formed by merging these two child nodes it will be more clear after this example consider this b tree suppose the minimum degree of this b tree is t right so each node of this b tree will have at least two keys right since the minimum degree of this b tree is 3 right so each node of this b tree will have at least two keys right suppose in this b tree we have to delete the key f right so we will start from root node right to reach the node which contains the key f right since uh, root has only one key that is q right and value of f is less than q right so we will move to the child which is at the left of key q right so we will move to this child node right this child node has more than two keys so we can move to it right so when we reach this node right we will search for key f right so key f is greater than d right so we will move to second key of this node second key is h right key f is smaller than h so we will move to the child which is at the left of key h right now this is the child node which is at the left of key h right now this child node has more than two keys it has three keys so we can move to it now we have reached this node right now it is a leaf node and it contains the key f to be deleted right so how will we delete this key f from this leaf node we will simply remove the key f from this leaf node right so when we remove the key f from this leaf node then we will get this p tree right we will delete key f by removing it from this leaf node right now key f has been deleted so we will get this p tree right now now we have to delete the key n from this p tree right 
first of all we will reach the node of this p tree which contains the key n we will start from root node right key q is greater than key n right key n is smaller than key q right key n is smaller than key q so we will move to the child node which is at the left of key q right so this is the child node which is at the left of key q right this child node has more than two keys it has three keys so we can move to it right so we will move to this node this node has key n right it is an internal node now we have to delete key n from this node right now see the child node of this node which precedes the key n is this node right and it has more than two keys right so the child node of this node which precedes the key n has more than two keys it has three keys so what will we do we will recursively delete rightmost key of this node right we will delete the key l of this node right since this node is a leaf node we will simply remove key l from this node right and we will replace key n by key l right we will delete key l from this node and we will replace key n by key l in this node so when we delete key l from this node and replace key n by key l of this node then we will get this p tree right so in this way we will delete the key n from this p tree right now we have to delete the key h of this p tree right so first of all we will reach the node of this p tree which contains the key h right in this p tree we have to delete the key h so first of all we will reach the node which contains the key h in this p tree we will start from root node right value of a key h is smaller than q so we will move to the child node which is at the left of key q right now this is the child node which is at the left of key q it has more than two keys so we can move to it it has three keys right now see the both child nodes of this key which precedes and follow key h right both the child nodes of this key which precedes and follows key h right both have two keys right so what will we do we will merge both of these two child nodes right so when we merge these two child nodes we will get this p tree right this uh, node in this node right in this node key h will move to the child node which is formed after merging these two child nodes right now when we merge these two child nodes we will get this p tree now in this p tree we have to delete this key h right now this key h is in a leaf node right so we will simply remove this key h from this leaf node to delete it right so in this way this uh, key h will be deleted from b tree